welcome to another video. Greetings, I'm Neil, Dread Donny, as usual, I'm your host. Um, this is my Q&A number six. Uh, it's very, very late, I apologise for the lateness, but it's here and it's going up. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into these questions, there's only two questions this time, so I'm just going to get them over with. Question one, from Laura and Camden. You asked, can you use normal condition new dreadlocks? No! Don't bother, don't do it, it's not worth it, you're going to get the additive stuck in your hair, you're going to get lint and crap, it's going to... Normal conditioner in your dreadlocks is going to make your hair really soft and frizzy, right? And usually on dreadlocks it makes it frizzy, not soft and straight. Um, and you can gather lint and stuff because the condition is going to make your hair quite staticky. Um, also the additives and the residue and stuff is going to get stuck in your dreadlocks, so I wouldn't bother using it. Oi! My dog is barking again. He's growling at dogs in the street because he's in my window. He's pissing me off. But again, let's get back to the video. Um, normal conditioner, no, no. It's like pouring milk on Weetabix. It's like putting conditioner on Weetabix and stirring it around. You're just going to loosen your dreadlocks up and you don't want that. Um, but, but, but. There's a good way to condition your dreadlocks that I've used a couple of times. I wouldn't use it all the time, but I've used it a couple of times. Um, what you do is get some set honey. Two teaspoons of set honey in a little bowl um, and maybe a, a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of olive oil and mix it up. Microwave 20 seconds in and out with the microwave over that 20 seconds amount of time, you know, stirring it, put it back in, stirring it, put it back in until the 20 seconds are up. Probably every two, three seconds, take it out, stir it, put it back in, you know, so a little time, it's only 20 seconds of your bloody life now. And then what you do is you mix that up, pour it into your normal shampoo, give it a good shake. <laughs> good shake! Give it a good shake up and then use that and your dreads. And that should condition, I mean, um, the olive oil and um, the, the, the honey is quite, quite good for your dreadlocks. So the conditioning process is more or less the same as using normal conditioner, but you're not getting any crap stuck in your dreads. Wash them out as you would normally, uh, you know, with warm water and just squeeze them like hell to get them, get, get your normal shampoo up. There we go. And um, thanks for your question. Yeah. Um, this next question is regarding my services. I thought I'd check it in. There's only two questions, like I said, but I thought I'd check this one in. How much do I charge for maintenance? Um, my maintenance sessions are between 35 and 50 quid, depending on how bad your dreadlocks are. If they got, if you've got lots of Congos and stuff, it's going to take some time to get out. Then it's a little bit more expensive, up to the 50 quid mark. But generally, it's between 35 and 40 quid usually. Um, like I said, the 50 quid is not really happened that many. It's happened once, I think, because of the Congos and stuff that's taking so long to get out because they wanted them separated. But usually I don't come across dreadlocks that badly. I've not had it. I've not had many clients in the last couple of months. So um, time will tell if I come across anything like that. The rest of my services are my dreadlock installations are usually between 70 and 90, 70 and 100 pounds. Let's put it at that mark because some people want extensions and stuff in the hair and that usually costs a little more because the work they've got to do to make the extensions and the hair to buy obviously they've got to pay for the hair themselves and then the installation of their dreadlocks on top of the extensions so it varies i mean 70 70 to 75 pounds is my normal charge for dreadlocks anyway um i don't charge any more than that if it's just even no matter how long your hair is no matter how short your hair is i don't charge any more than 75 pounds just to make it clear but i will take my time on them because i want to make them good uh, decent dreadlocks um, Washing dreadlocks I do offer um, I offered washing dreadlocks for my shampoos and stuff that I use um, unless you want your shampoo used then that's up to you um, I usually charge about 10 15 quid something like that for washing hair quite a deep clean it usually takes a couple of hours so you get a good service out of it um, maintenance like I said 35 to 50 quid um, don't know what else I offer um, I think that's it hmm. That's most of my services. Um, I can add yarn and stuff to your hair for a couple of quid, you know, wrap, yarn wraps and stuff. Um, I can also combine dreadlocks and things during the maintenance sessions and things. I can use, I can blunt dreadlocks. I can take the, the ends out and unblunt your dreads for you. Um, removal, dreadlock removals, dread removals. I charge £65 to remove the dreadlocks. They do take a little while to remove, so I do charge quite a bit because it's a, it's a painstaking process to take them out. But you can do it yourself. Watch the tutorial videos on YouTube. I'll probably make one at some. I did make one on the little dread here at some point. I did make one on here on my video, uh, my channel. Just you can click here and watch it if you want to. I'll put it up here. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's my Q and A done. Uh, it's Q and A six. I think it's six. Um, I'll just make it a six. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's another four to go, and that's it. 
All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's not a very big video, but it was something I wanted to get off my chest. I've been waiting to do it for a while. I've been holding off doing it for a while. I've been procrastinating quite a bit because I've had stuff to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the conditioning, you know, like I said, honey and olive oil into your normal shampoo, mix it up and wash them with that, good conditioner. And my services, like I said, I'll put them on my website. I'll put it on Dread, Dread You 24 seven as well on my website on there. They're also on my normal website, which is here. I'll post it here. If not, I'll put it in the link below um, because it might not let me link a website here, but I'll put it in the link below anyway. Um, I will have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. It's a great long bank holiday weekend. Also, just a quick, quick note. I got a job as a chef of a, you know, head chef of a kitchen, which is great news. Um, it's more or less head chef. I mean, it'll be a permanent kind of position. Um, there's only me in the kitchen along with the other lady, but she's not going to be there as soon as I'm in there taking over the kitchen anyway. Um, yeah, good job. Great news. So clients, beware. Book your sessions in advance. If you want me to do your dreads and stuff, please book them in advance because I'll have to make time for you to do them off. And have a great weekend. So dread removal and dread to 24 seven here and my website. I'll probably, I'll just link it below in the, in the uh, li little description there down there. Comment on the video if you like it. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm always free to answer questions. I love answering questions people throw me. And I'll see you all again in a, in probably in the next five days. Have a great weekend. My history video is due next week at some point. Don't, don't just leave it. I'll get on to it. And DreadTube 24 7s video will be filmed tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your bank holiday. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. And comment on my video. See you later, guys. Have a great weekend.